I'm Brad Teal from the college. I'm an associate professor here, and I'm also the associate director of metrology facilities. This is what we call a dual beam microscope. It has both an electron beam, like an electron microscope would have, but it also has a focused ion beam. And the reason for having both of these is that we can do very different types of characterizations and different types of experiments. You've seen pictures of these tiny machines with little gears that spin or wheels that turn, that sort of thing. To be able to manufacture that, you can't use conventional types of fabrication. You can't go in there and use a little saw or a drill. These features are going to be nanometer scale, or very few nanometers. So what we need to do is be able to control where we are depositing or removing material at a nanometer kind of resolution. And the only way of doing that effectively, especially on a very localized one-off scale, is with an electron beam or an ion beam. Obviously something like this is never going to be a manufacturing tool, but we want to be able to understand some of these processes and the chemical reactions that take place on this very small scale so that large-scale industrial uh, tools might be able to be fabricated or some other kind of process could be done, but we need this to study the, the basic um, science of what's going on.